Hello everyone, in this lab we will design a circuit counting up and down. However, in this case we will define some parameters so that according to the values that we give to the parameters our circuit will behave differently. For example, let's assume that we have a counter here and we will define some parameters as I said for example, up is a parameter and if up is 1 for example, our circuit will count up and if up is 0, it will count down for example. And we also can specify the bit number of the output so that we can decide up to which value it will count for example. So let's move on to the coding. Here I have my counter module and I will define first the parameters by sharp sign as you can see here sharp and open and close parentheses and I write here parameter and as you can see its color is red here and I will write down the parameters that I want to specify for example one of the parameters is n which will specify the bit number of the output let it be for example 5 and the other parameter is up for example whether the circuits count up or down if it is 1 it will count up for example and after that I will define my inputs and output as you can see here I open and close parentheses and after that semicolon I put semicolon here but after the parameter declaration there is no semicolon please pay attention to this and here as you can see inputs are clock, reset and enable and output is register and this is the n-1 to 0 which specifies the bit number of the output for example if I want the output to have 5 bits for example I should write down here 4 to 0 so I'm writing here n minus 1 to 0. So these are the input and output declarations. For example, let's assume that I want my circuit to count up from 0 to 5 bit maximum value here. So I should initialize my output as 0, like this. And I want to put my circuit at asynchronous reset. So inside the always sensitivity list I should also put postage reset for example and postage clock like this always at postage clock or postage reset so when the reset becomes 1 I the circuit will not wait for the next postage clock so I will put end for the always block and if reset is 1 the output will be 0 here as you can see else which means that reset is not 1 which is 0 I will do these statements between begin and end if enable is 1 and if up is also 1 I will make the output output plus 1 else meaning that up is 0 so which means that it is down so output should be output minus 1 counting down and another else meaning that enable is 0 so there shouldn't be any counting here so in this case output should be same as the last output this end for the else here and this end for the always block here and end module now we can write a test bench code this is a test bench code inputs are defined as register and wire is 5 bit output 
and these are the connections and this is the initialization of the clock reset and enable and this is the clock generation here as you know from the previous videos and for 101 nanoseconds reset is uh, these are the these are preserved here these inputs uh, reset and enable and after that reset is one and after some time reset is again zero and after some time enable is zero and for 20 nanoseconds enable is one again and let's check whether the circuit our code operates correctly or not as you can see your output is initially zero and after some time it's counting and at 105 nanoseconds reset is one and the output is zero since it's an asynchronous reset the circuit will not wait for the next postage clock to make the output zero and it's directly become zero here so it's correct here the reset is zero at this point again but the circuit wait for the next postage clock to make the output one so it's again a correct behavior for circuit and at this point enable is zero so at the next postage clock as you can see output is one it does not become two so it's again correct and at this point enable is again one so at the next postage clock the output becomes two and so on as you can see it's increasing here and so on let's now try a different scenario for example i make here the output three bit and up zero and initial value of the output let's say that 3 bit binary 1 1 1 so that it should count down from 1 1 1 to 0 towards the 0 let's see as you can see the output is initially 7 which is 3 bit 1 1 1 and it's counting down 7 6 5 and so on and after this point as you can see reset is 1 and the output is 0 and when reset is again 0 at this point after that it starts from the beginning again here since enable is 0 at this postage clock output does not change but here it's 1 enable and again counting down 654 and when it's reach here when it reach 0 at the next postage clock again it for, starts from 7 and so on 